Have you ever told someone you were going to do them a favor, but then forgot to do it? Have you experienced a boss or a friend who let you down because they did not follow through on their work? Chances are, all of us have experienced this, and even done it ourselves. What is worse is when we promise to do something we never intended to do. This is a form of manipulation. Some might say, I didn't follow through because I forgot. But the truth is, there are very few good excuses unless it's backed by factual and reasonable circumstances. Instead, it's of the utmost importance for people to know that your word is as good as gold and that you will follow through on your promises. How can business, government, or even relationships function if agreements are just empty words with no real value? Eventually, trust and order begins to crumble. Yes, there are contracts, founding documents, and written agreements, but even those can be of little value in the end if the culture and standard is to blow with the wind and change at any moment. There is no value, foundation, or security in a promise not kept. We must be careful of our words and what we promise if we don't intend to follow through. The Bible states in Matthew 5:37, let your yes be simply yes and your no be simply no. Anything more than that comes from the evil one. I'm Matt Moore and this has been this week's Successful Idea. If you'd like to join our luncheon with other businessmen and leaders, please text the word YBT411 to 990-00 to be notified each month.